Never seen this much destruction in my entire life. Children's shoes, growing moss on them. Basically the entire village joined ISIS and uh, at that point the coalition had to come in and bomb the entire place out. Old clothing. Good morning, day two in Erbil. We are checking out of the hotel now. I'm gonna move on to our next destination. It was a lot of fun. Uh, just something I wanted to show you is this little arrow on the ceiling, as we've seen in so many other countries that points to Mecca, so that the Muslim people who stay at the hotel know where to pray to. So as I said, it's uh, morning here, checking out very soon. I just wanna show you the spa at the hotel, I didn't even have a chance to go there because I was busy doing all sorts of other stuff but let's check it out Whew. it is hot in here Then we had the gym. I must say, very nice pool. We got the hot tubs, some kind of plunge pool situation. Oh my God, it is so hot in here. I'm not really a sauna guy. Whew. Out we go. Showers. Massage room. What can I tell you, you know? I'm showing you Iraq, and this is the Iraq that I see. It's definitely not the Iraq that everybody sees. And, you know, I'm glad that I'm able to show you another side of Iraq that you may not have known existed. However, having said that, there are also a lot of, you know, issues in this country that uh, are very real and really do exist. And it's not all fun and games or glorious. Very far from it. But, uh, you know, there's two sides to every story. What's this? Okay, so I'm here with my friend Mohammed. He's originally from Iran, he's Kurdish, but now he lives here in Kurdistan. And uh, look what he is doing on his phone. So I just did the uh, subscribe on your channel. Uh, you are a very lucky person. <laughs> <laughs> I am a lucky person. If I have subscribers like you, I am very lucky. Thank you so much for subscribing. You're doing great. Tell everyone keep, else. Keep, they... keep it up, man. Thank You're you so much. Great. Tell them they need to subscribe too. They need to subscribe too. That's as well. right. Yeah. <laughs> Push that button right now. Like and subscribe. Here you go. Thank you so much, Mohammed. You're welcome. Nice brother. to meet you. Good to see you. Thank you. You too. This is the car we have and our driver. Hello. Hello. here in the Kurdistan region, autonomous region of Iraq, and we are about to go visit a village called Hassan Shams, which was completely inhabited by ISIS and bombed out by the coalition forces. Let's take a look inside and see what it's all about.
So we just got into this village of Hassan Shams and there's destruction all around us. This place is basically completely abandoned. Uh, it's unbelievable to think that where we stand was once an ISIS stronghold only a few years ago. So I was about to walk into that house right behind me and our guide said that it's not a good idea to go inside because there could be unexploded bombs still remaining in the houses. So uh, we are not going to go inside. Now if you look out into the distance, if you look out into the distance you can see those tents, the blue and white, that's a refugee camp where these families and some ex-ISIS people live. These people used to live in the village, but after it was destroyed, since then they've been in the camp. So, supposedly these words say that this was a barbershop for men. So much destruction, it's really unbelievable. really don't know what to say. It's just a lot of destruction. It's so sad. Once upon a time, there must have been children running around here and playing. Families, schools. Now it's just all rubble. Children's shoes. Growing moss on them. Old clothing. Let's do a little woman's purse. Yeah. Wow. Really, really sad. So apparently, what happened here was that when ISIS came to this village, all of the locals joined ISIS. Basically, the entire village joined ISIS. And uh, at that point, the coalition had to come in and bomb the entire place out. This was uh, probably once an oven. 
Yeah, oven. A bakery. Bakery, well. Where's the mosque? I can't see. Oh, there it is. Yeah, okay. Never seen this much destruction in my entire life. So this was the village mosque at one point and uh, let's take a look inside. Wow. See a symbol of love. Even even with all this craziness.